Hey, before we get into this video, please go below to the description box. You don't have to leave the video and follow my other YouTube channels with all different new content because this is the goal. Shout out Ghost. Now let's get into it. I'm seeing everybody got something to say about my sit down with WAC 100. I'm noticing that. You feel me? I'm noticing everybody got something to say about my sit down with WAC 100. Everybody got their own views to it. They got their own ways that they look at what I was doing. But I'm gonna be the first one to tell y'all this, my nigga. Me and Wack was talking for like three, four days. Matter of fact, weeks before. Week. We, we, yeah, week before we even did the motherfucking interview. Cool nigga. He was never disrespectful to me, my nigga. Everything was straight, homie. He. Extended the olive branch for me to go to on no jumper with him so we can sit down and I say what I got to say and he say what he got to say. I don't have no problem with the nigga, but I'm noticing everybody got something to say about how that interview went. Mainly a fat nigga with thighs named Poetic Flacco. Check this out, Poetic Flacco, my nigga. I don't know you, you don't know me, homie. But what I do know is I would fuck you up, homie. Feel me? Adam, set that shit up, nigga, for me to meet Poetic Flacco since he always got something to say when it comes to me. Check this out. Ain't nobody punk me, my nigga. If Wack 100 would have did me the way he did you, it would have been problems and no motherfucking jumper, nigga. You better motherfucking believe that. Feel me? Ain't no bitch in me. And when, and when motherfucking Wax said that it's not for me, that's his opinion. Because that nigga ain't walked with me through my motherfucking life 24-7. He only know what he see on the internet. That was merely his opinion. But I'm going to tell all y'all, nigga, this pie rule. Can't nobody take my red rag from me. Can't nobody take my pee from me, my nigga. Shut the fuck up and listen to this, listen to this pie rule music, my nigga. Straight the fuck up. Feel me? Niggas don't even know what the fuck they talking about. Everything that I said on this No Jumper interview, I said in every motherfucking podcast about this goddamn topic, my nigga. I didn't change my story. Wack didn't get me to admit to shit that I done already been saying, homie. Straight the fuck up, my nigga. So, nigga, Wack didn't get me to say nothing I ain't already admitted to. But what I did go up there and do was I got up there and took accountability. And that's and that's some real shit. It's a lot of shit that I could have said back to Wack when he said little crazy shit to me, but I didn't. I'm going to tell y'all why I didn't. Because it wasn't about him. It was about me. That was my moment of motherfucking uh, truth, my nigga. But we're going to get our time to sit down and get on Wack about the shit about him. I'm sure he don't have a problem with that since I did it. So I'm telling all you bitch ass niggas, ain't nobody pumped me. Ain't nobody took nothing from me, nigga. He asked me to put up. I put the fuck up. I stand stood on what I stood on. I said what the fuck how I felt. He said how he felt. That's it. What y'all mad because nobody didn't die, nigga? Y'all mad nobody didn't die? Is that the motherfucking problem? So I'm sitting here and I'm telling y'all. Everything that whack that I admitted to whack, I admitted on every other goddamn motherfucking platform, my nigga. I said I got up there to help the nigga, and that wop 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 wop. Only thing I said different on whack shit, I shouldn't have did it, and I and to this day I regret that shit. I shouldn't have fucking helped this bitch ass, because demons go for light, my nigga. Demons go for light when they in darkness like that nigga in jail. Any piece of light they try to grab onto it, my nigga. And that's what that bitch ass nigga doing. I'm shining. Oh, he told on me. He told me, shut the fuck up. Ain't nobody told on you, nigga, when you in the paperwork telling on yourself. So I'm telling y'all, man, if I was a bitch ass nigga, I wouldn't have pulled up for them four fades. If I was a bitch ass nigga, I wouldn't have pulled up the face whack. It's niggas that work in the same motherfucking building with them ain't never even seen the nigga. What the fuck y'all got to say about that? It's niggas that's in the same motherfucking, that work in the same building that this nigga. I ain't never, don't, couldn't tell you what this nigga look like. I put up, though. 
I don't feel disrespected by wax motherfucking questions because I can take self-criticism, my nigga. I, I can be under the gun, nigga. I can take fire, nigga. He said it's not for me. That's your opinion, though. He didn't, he didn't, um, he didn't, uh, say nothing when I called myself the king of Compton. He didn't say nothing when I called myself a gangster. We was there having a man conversation. We was there merely to give opinion, my nigga. But y'all bitch ass niggas don't understand that. Everything I admitted to whack, I said on 50 million other goddamn podcasters, my nigga. Why? Because I said it to whack is something big. Wack didn't take nothing from me, my nigga. He gave an opinion, and it's up to me to take it. So I'm, that's how the fuck I feel about that shit. And Poetic Flacco, shut your bitch ass up, because if any nigga ever ran up on me as aggressive as he ran up on you, nigga, niggas would be stabbed in their motherfucking neck. Jesus Christ. I hate to say it. I hate to say it, Flacco. But last night I was making my uh my plant-based Philly cheesesteak before I got on live for a little bit. And I was watching that video as I was making it. And we're well, listening and watching it because I'm, you know, in the kitchen, but I'm coming back and forth. Paul's no Diddy, no Jersey, no Adam. And um <laughs> I knew Snoopy Badass was gonna have a problem with the shit you was saying. Um because if you didn't see that that champ that uh, 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 video Flacco made, made my fault. I'm over here tripping, y'all. I'm sober as a gopher right now. Go on his channel and look at the video. I think the video was like 30 minutes long. Like I was literally cooking. Like I had to go. Chop, I had to chop up peppers, chop up onions. You know what I'm saying? So I had it planned. You know what I'm saying? I had to go. You know, cook the plant based uh, beef or whatever the fuck, whatever they call it. I think yeah, plant plant based beef, beefy, whatever the fuck. But that way, and that was a well put together video too, Flago. You know what I'm saying? But you, you know, that's what you do. You, you, you do your thing on that. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I was like, yo, because it was fucking entertaining and shit, bro. Like, and and before Flago even made the video, I seen somebody else speak on. Oh, I was shout out to Nina, but was it Nina boy? So I, was, I was on somebody live. I think it was Nina Boy. I couldn't even watch it because the shit this was looking crazy. And I can't cap Snoopy. That shit was looking crazy. Um, I don't know if Wack 100 finessed you or that was his plan to... But you did subtly agree to talking too much. That's what I would say. I ain't say you sit, you sat there and outright said, yeah, I snitched, man. You know what I'm saying? You subtly agree that you said too much. Or that you that you shouldn't have got on the, the 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 stand to help the guy out is what you said. So, but I knew it was gonna be a fucking problem, bro. You know what I'm saying when it comes to that Flacco video. But um, I don't know, Snoopy. I never, you know, I ain't saying Flacco can't defend himself. You saying you want you you will beat his ass and all that, right? Which I ain't saying you won't. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I ain't got no dog in the fight. I'm just standing from the sideline watching y'all niggas. Um, but I never really hear Flacco talk about like doing a fist to cuffs with a nigga. You know what I'm saying? I never heard him say nothing. The only thing I hear Flacco say, he's, he subtly says he has other ways of defense. I'll just say that. He said he, he, he much rather defend himself other ways. So I don't know about you beating him up or, oh shit, <laughs> fool's ready. Um, but that. That might not, you know, go the way you, that you think it would go. Um, I understand that you may be... Really, honestly, Snoopy, bro, I wouldn't have fucked around and went on that platform, bro. I wouldn't have did it, bro. I mean, it, it's good for your career and for your your, your your viewership. You know what I'm saying? Because now you want to be trending somewhat in whatever the genre or circle of this West Coast... Whatever you want to call this. You're going to be trending for sure. You know what I'm saying? Anytime a nigga gets views or go on something, you're going to get some kind of traction. But me personally, I, maybe I'm just untrustworthy. Especially, I, and I forgot that WAC 100 was the nigga who basically got you the, the DP or the... I for, that, that shit happened so long ago, I straight forgot. You know what I'm saying? I forgot. But you did stand on business. You went and caught your phase. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it, you know, 
it, it, they weren't that pretty, you know what I'm saying? But the purpose wasn't to be pretty. The purpose was the I ain't running from this shit, right? Like you said, and I salute you on that. Um, but yeah, I don't think you. Nah, I think I think Flacco got other ways of defending himself, and I don't I don't just mean one way. I mean he has a few different ways of defending himself. So before you jump in that water, you might want to relax. I understand you're gonna get your uh, speak your mind, but um. Uh, yeah, I knew, I knew, I, Flacco, I knew that video was going to go, I already knew it, I knew it, when I heard it, I told you I was, the shit was like, I even remember how long, I think it was like 28 minutes, bro, I was like, damn, he got a lot to say, I was like, I might as well press this while I'm cooking, and I was just listening to that shit cooking, chopping up the onions, chopping up the green peppers, like, this nigga Flacco, I already knew, I, I was surprised it took Snoopy Badass that long to respond, but, um, we got more beef, hey man, it's getting hot this summer, well, it ain't even a summer quite yet, but it's going to be hot. It's, I think it's 89 degrees outside right now. Um, I'm about to go get a workout in, too, matter of fact. Um, but, yeah, man, we got to see where this one develops, too. Um, basically, honestly, just knowing, like, podcasts and virality and how this YouTube shit work, this is leading to another saga. Now, I don't know if, if Flacco and Snoopy Badass going to have a sit-down or something like that, or if it's just going to be, like, some bickering back and forth, but... It's going to equal views for everybody involved. You know what I'm saying? Um, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Um, if you want to see the video, go to Flocko channel. It got whack 100 on the thumbnail. I can't. I think he said something about ruin his, ruin his career. And go follow Snoopy Badass as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, I'm all for my black people. You know what I'm talking about? Um, other than that, y'all give me y'all opinions on this, man. Like, comment, subscribe. As the world turns, I'm gone. Yeah.